Hello everyone and welcome back to the Irish Ramble uh, Man Show and today we're going to be looking at <coughs> I think two players we should be trying to sign in the summer transfer window when it comes back at the end of the season I think left back looks like a big deal for us now looks like I don't think Clash is going to be back at their Tetris plans it's two games now in a row where he hasn't started and I just think now it's time for him to leave the club but per that's personally me Maybe other fans don't think so, but it's just for me. We got him on the free when Arsene Wenger was still in charge, so <clears throat> he's on high wages as well. So it'd be good to kind of let him go, let him do finish his career somewhere else, because I don't think we need him at the moment. And he's one of Ozil's kind of friends as well. So I think if we push on more people around Ozil as well, maybe Ozil might actually take a chance and actually want to leave too. But Kalashin, I think he hasn't done great since he arrived in the club. He did have a few games at the start and then after that we realised that it's just not what we need at the moment uh, so yeah these are two, <coughs> sorry, two left backs I think we should sign and I don't know if we're, for we're going to go if I would go for a very young left back like maybe an 18, 19, 20 year old give Tierney that like he's still going to be in charge but when Tierney's injured at least we have a left back there who can kind of be coached by Tierney as well because Tierney has a lot of leadership ability and he's been playing the game a long time as well it's, Star was said, I think, at 18, so he's been in, he's playing for professional football at the higher level, senior level for a very long time. So, And you can see his leadership on the pitch as well when you watch Arsenal play games. He's always shouting, he's always telling players where to go, what to do. and <clears throat> Or we could go with a, an experienced left back, someone who's already been at the end of his career nearly, who wants to, you know, like kind of help out young players, get them, go, give them experience, tell them how to defend, give them a few tips and tricks here and how they did it. And the first person I want to go with is a young defender, Nuno Trevores. He, he, uh, he's played left back six times, right back three times, one assist at left back, one goal at right back and two assists at uh, He's a pass accessory at 73.4 per game. His strengths are crossing, key passing, tackling and blocking. His weakness is holding the ball. Uh, tackles per game, 2.4. Key passes per, uh, per game, 1.2. Pass successes, we already had that as well. Uh, does 1.8 crosses per game, 2.5 long balls. And he loses, he apparently he usually gets a solid 6 or 7 out of 10 every game. And that's really good for a young player, look, whoever just getting his games here and there. Like, he's not in the bad range where he's getting like 4 or 5. He's playing really, really well. The value of him could be about 10 million, I'd say. Because, you know, maybe in the Portuguese league, Benfica Sporting and Porto love selling their players for a very high price because they're always on demand. So, they are. And they'd be good for Tierney as well. Just having, I don't want Saka now going back to being our left back. I think he's way better. Like he could play there, good, really good. But I think for him, potential wise, it'd be better for him to be a left midfielder and uh, grow into that position as well. Because we need that. I think we have. We don't have a left. We have Pepe on the right who cuts in. It'd be nice to have Sek on the left so he can just cut the. He doesn't have to cut in. He can just cross the ball in whenever he wants. Um. So I think a young twenty-year-old that'd be very good for us in with Tierney as well because Tierney's a bit older. Tierney's like twenty-two, twenty-three. So. It makes it good for us so we can have two uh, left backs there who are one's going to be kind of coaching the other and pushing forward as well as the team goes on. And these are the players we can kind of need to sign these young players where we can get them in, make them really, really good, and then sell them on for a profit and get more money into the club so then we can make um, sign top players when we get to that stage again when we're fighting top four, we're fighting for titles and fighting for leagues is to get these real young players to come in, sell them on for a profit, and then use that money then to buy the biggest talent that's around at the time in like four or five years' time. Um, but yeah, I think he'd be going to try and get a bit more luck at him in a few more games maybe, in like uh, like online, like try and look at a full game, not just little clips of YouTube because you're just getting the best bits, you're not getting the whole game, you're just getting highlights of, oh, look at this, he's unbelievable. So I'm going to try and watch a game of him. I just looked up at stats-wise and I think young in the Portuguese league maybe could want another chance out there as well then this is going to be my older player which might be a shock for a lot of people because he may be on a nice higher the wage man is Julie Alba from Barcelona he's 31 years old he's played 33 appearances 2 goals 5 assists key passes 1.1 per game uh, the, the pass success rate is 88.4 tackling 0 0.7 interceptions 1.4 and then 
Do, 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 do. He gets it again, another 6 out of 7 out of 10 every game. Uh, strengths, passing, key passing, holding the ball, and uh, ball interceptions. He is weaknesses, aerial duels because he's not the tallest, and then tackling. His style of play likes to pass it short and does not dive into tackles. So for me, that's mean that all the kind of player who's not really, he's at the not, he's kind of really around coming to his end of his career. Uh, he might be on high wages, that's the only problem with me when trying to sign him. But as an experienced player who's done it all, who's won it all with Barcelona, maybe now Barcelona probably have a lot of older players now, like Jordi Alba, uh, Busquets, Pique. Uh, Leo, well, Leo Messi is obviously not going to and Rakitic. Then you have to get Pjanic in. He's 30, or, 30 years old. They have um, Rakitic. Uh, so I think we may market value maybe between could be 15 to 20 million maybe because of his age. And Barcelona might want to recoup a bit of money to come in maybe to try and buy Neymar again. But I think he'd be a very good signer for us just for his experience. He's Spanish, so a lot of players already in the squad that speak Spanish, Arteta speaks Spanish. He's very good on the ball, I think, for years. he's he was Him and Marcelo was kind of like your best left-backs in the world at recent time, and now he's kind of getting to the twilight nearly of his career. And I think that'd be a really good move for him, for his career, and for us, like I said, just like the way Lick signed him. But Lick signed him was really, really like, when he was 34, 30, 34, 35. He's Jolie Alba will be like maybe 32 when he comes to us, still has a few bit of his legs still there working for him, still has a bit of his pace. And I think he'd be a really good signer for us, like I said. Won't be starting every single game. So he'd be kind of really there to kind of coach Tierney whenever Tierney can play. At least we have an experienced, well-known left back who can cut him in here, make a difference for us and hold, hold a good position. And I think that's what we need to look for now. These kind of, if we're looking for older players to kind of fit into the system, we need these players that the positions where they're not going to start every week they're going to be here and there and trying to help the squad I think his leadership skills will be very good as well being that age and working with Messi and being at Barcelona for such a long time consistently being very very good so they're the two people I loved not in love but I'd like to see maybe sign uh, I think Jolie Al would be a really nice sign just to have like that kind of a uh, experience the championship uh, mentality as well winning a bit difference going from Arsenal to Barcelona but that that's what I mean like when you're at that age of your career it might be a best opportunity for you to f like to finish it you know like be there help the team out and then uh, finish off his career there and then your man uh, the Tavares I haven't seen much of him the stats look really good I think and like I said I think if we can get rid of class not on big big wages we are gone for free so we're easily going to make a profit on him as well um, big rumours are apparently coming out today is Guendouzi uh, swapped there with Coutinho for Barcelona uh, I, yes I know I, I, I could take Coutinho I, I might I would rather do it for Ceballos maybe Guendouzi going to Madrid and us taking Ceballos I'd rather have that because we've already seen Ceballos we've seen Coutinho injuries a lot of injuries but you know his quality you know what it was like with Liverpool he was very, very good at Liverpool, but that thing where like a lot of South American players want to go to Spain because the whole big glamour of Real Madrid and Barcelona. So we could take a chance, see how it goes, or maybe like I said, another big, big, big high wages on him as well. But I don't mind signing people on high wages if they're going to give us a hundred percent every game and every single week. No, every single sorry, every single week. So that's what I I'd rather see. He, and I think Joel Yao would fight for the badge. I think he would be uh, there to help us uh, get there. I think our attempt was really well. Like, look what we did to David Luiz. Uh, made, made him look unbelievable against their Man City. And since then, just that one game against Man City from the start. And since then, he's been absolutely fantastic. So I think he could do that with Joel Yao as well. I want to thank everyone for... <coughs> thank you all for listening. Uh, like, share, subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.